Hey, so today we're going to learn how to build this mechanism. And what is this thing besides a stringy H? Uh, it's actually a hand control mechanism for cables for your puppet. So let me show you what I got going on here. I've already built a couple and I've attached them to these bike cables done through these tubes. And if you can see here, when I pull this, I have a contraption to hold the head of this creature puppet that I'm working on. He's far from done, as you might notice. He's going to have all sorts of features, including uh, hands and feet. He's an alien, what would you call it, wildlife of the planet Omega-12 in my upcoming animated feature, Escape from Planet Omega-12. Actually, I haven't decided if it's going to be a feature or a series or maybe a pilot for a series. But uh, anyway, the idea is that this guy would be filmed, videoed against a green screen, which I have here, and then comped in with other animation and miniature sets, like that all the way over there, and that mushroom. Um, but anyway, these are very easy to build, and I've just been using pretty much stuff I've had in the garage. I really haven't gone out of my way to get too much material, except maybe the bike cables and some PVC pipe and tubing. Uh, but I have already pre-cut the two pieces of wood. I imagine I don't have to tell you how to do that. So there's that and this center piece, which will lock into there. And through the years, I've just saved all these little things that one way or another come my way. Like this hinge here, which is perfectly handy for the device. I've got a bunch of screws. I've got a little box of screen, uh, springs that were actually given to me by my very good friend, Jenna Green, who's also a practical effects artist. Helped me on the Quantum Terror. Check it out, it's on VOD, Tubi, Amazon Prime, Apple TV. Little plug there um, for an indie horror movie and you know, that's what we do. We're indie filmmakers. I assume you're an indie filmmaker, or maybe you just like behind the scenes. But let's put this together really quick. I don't really measure things out. Maybe I should. This isn't even cut straight. That's fine. I think I want to have it bend like that. Looks good. So I'm just going to kind of start with where I'm going to place it. I'm going to put the hinge in there and then oh this isn't the proper size drill bit i like to drill pilots for the screws in wood like this you can screw right in but it's tougher and it's more of a chance that you're going to break your uh your wood in some way but so i'll just kind of gently put pressure on this and hold it in place. Ah, see, I already lost the place, it slipped. You know, if I had a pencil, I could just mark it. But I put my pencil down somewhere in here and can't <laughs> remember where it is. Now yeah, look, pencil, here, pencil, nope. Oh wait, but there is a pen. Maybe I can mark it that way. General area. Can't really see what I'm doing. But Probably want it up a little higher though than that. So I'll make well I won't even bother with marks for that. But the important thing are the marks for this. And they're generally in the correct place. So I'll drill my pilots. Ooh, it's a mosquito. Hate those things. Occupational hazard.
more or less, let's see what kind of screws I've got. I'll go for smaller screws. And let's screw this hinge in. I really hate mosquitoes. All right, so that's in. And I'll just kind of check it, kind of put some pressure on it, see if it works out. Yeah, that works. That should pull it back far enough. Okay, so about right there. Again, I'm not really measuring this. Maybe you want to for some reason, but as long as I got my pilot holes in the right place. I already don't. More or less. It wasn't quite center in camera, sorry about that. More little screws. doesn't look quite even, so I'll do another pilot. <sighs> doesn't have to be perfect. At least I don't think it does. I'll make a bunch of these, and as soon as I start recording, I start messing it up. Get all this way. All right, so pretty good do the next thing which is to drill pilot holes or at least one pilot hole to start got that a bit close to my thumb let's see Okay, so as you can see it twists a little, we want to kind of get it even. And then I'll drill my other pilot hole so this thing doesn't slip around. Another screw, let's make sure it's long enough, yep. Okay, so we have the general shape, but as you can see, it just stays in pretty much whatever position it's in. We want it to be able to return when we squeeze it. So at the top here, not in the middle, because in the middle, we want 
the tube to go in one side and the bike cable, the bike brake cable to go in here. So I'm gonna do a little thing. And by the way, I checked the width of this against the bike cable. The bike cable goes through this very snugly. It's nice, snug. This side, I'm going to have a larger bit after I drill the initial pilot uh, that is the size of the tube. And I compared it to the tube so the tube sits nice and snug in there. You don't want it rattling around loose. Same side. I'm going to try and line it up the best you can. Doesn't have to be precise, but as lined up as you can get it. Now, again, about the where we're going to have the springs. So we want to drill a pilot kind of off to the side so it doesn't interfere with the hole that the cable's going to go through. change this bit and because the let's see is that bit and then there's the bigger bit now the bigger bit is for this is the size that I'm gonna use and forgive me I, I think this size is a quarter inch uh, yeah that's a quarter inch this is maybe nine yeah, 9 64ths size. But this one I'm just using as a pilot as well. Because if you go straight for the big bits, um, it's going to shred the wood. So you want to make a smaller pilot and then maybe a larger pilot. Because in this... Because in this instance, I'm using thicker screws with this kind of head. You can use whatever screws you want as long as it gets the job done. And when you see what the job is, you'll be able to determine that for yourself. This, I'll just widen this pilot, but I'm going to go at this with the one-fourth bit. All right. The one-fourth bit. Again, you're cable housing might be bigger but let's go for this see it's still kind of got these splinters going which I try to avoid but Just clean it out a little bit okay all right oops so, we've got this and we've got this. I'm going to take one of these springs and put it at the top so that we have a return, some tension, some spring tension to return this. So let's screw this in. And because I created the pilot, I can just kind of get it started so it doesn't slip out. Alright, not going to screw it down too tight, just tight enough so it's going to hold that in there. And then same with this one. Let's, oops. Pull that in there, like so. 
tension is going to make it so it's going to want to pull that screw out. So it's got to hold it in place until you can screw it down close enough. So there we go. We got another one. And uh, let's have a look at how we're going to get the cable in. Okay, so here we have the housing with the bike cable, but obviously we can't get it in because it's got this thing at the end of it. So we have to pull this out. And then we'll go ahead and feed this through. And it's got some splinters in the way, so let's just kind of pick at those, get them out of the way. And push it through. Like I said, I want it to be nice and snug. So it's not a surprise to me that this isn't actually easy to push through to start. But I do have, let's see. Clear the way just a little bit more. Because it is not going through at all. Let's try it now. There we go. Feeding it through until it comes out the other side there. And now we'll just feed that through, feed it into here, and it's a steel bike cable, so it's going to be able to have some tension going back and forth, and I'll just feed it through until it comes out the other side, and it's already kind of, <laughs> it's stuck because i got to pull it through the other way, but there we go, now we got it fed through all the way. Now. I have been duct taping it, but this is my last tiny little piece of duct tape at the end of the roll. So I'll have to find some more. I've got some somewhere. And I'll just duct tape over this little nub so that it doesn't slide out. And then there we go. Pushes and pulls. And at the moment, if we just travel along there again, I've got these tubes traveling up into here and through this pipe and into this head and right now it's just pushing back and forth here so that is it that is our mechanism and I'm gonna build well that's the last one I need to build for this one but I'm gonna build more for more puppets so stay tuned don't forget to like and subscribe and of course follow me as Christopher Moonlight on social media and especially for escape from planet omega 12 that is for that's on uh at sci exploitation on instagram x and facebook and you can follow uh christophermoonlight.substack.com and support me there or subscribe star.com slash christopher moonlight you can subscribe there and get a lot more behind the scenes behind a paywall and it supports this project Thanks very much. Hope this was useful. Later.